But if you were actually trying to level up and get XP in Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't very good. It was basically a class built for trolling. There were plenty of good Riot Shield players back in the day, but you had to really know how to make the Riot Shield work in your favor, and this wasn't it. When you first boot up a COD multiplayer, you're gonna have to deal with the default classes for a few levels. But what are the defaults that were so unhelpful, so bad, that nobody ever chose them? Well, today we answer that. What is up everybody, Chaos here. Welcome to the Every Cod series, powered by Scuff Gaming. If you guys get anything from Scuff, your dream controller, accessories, merch, anything, use code Chaos, link is in the description. Today, we are going to be checking out my picks for the absolute worst default class in every Call of Duty, starting with COD 4 all the way up to Modern Warfare 2019. Let me know if you guys agree with these. Drop a like, make sure you have those notifications turned on, and let's jump right in to COD 4. Heavy Gunner. So you have the M249 Saw, the USP45, Stun Times 3, Ouch, Juggernaut, and Deep Impact. That's right, this is a class from COD 4 that nobody used. Now the M249 saw was already kind of an unpopular pick in this game because of how awkward the handling and the super high recoil was and it didn't exactly get better with the rest of the class. Juggernaut instead of stopping power made the time to kill feel very inconsistent. And deep impact instead of steady aim made it so you couldn't hit fire very well either which is the whole thing the M249 was known for in COD 4. So I guess you could get some cheesy kills with stun times three but why would you use this class when the M16 was also a default? Moving right along to World at War. The Close Assault class, the Trench Gun, the P-38, Bazooka Times 2, Fireworks, and Extreme Conditioning. Now, shotguns weren't very good in World at War due to the very open map design that encouraged mid to long range engagements. On most maps, shotgunning was, it wasn't viable. That's why the Trench Gun class is here. It was nice to have extreme conditioning so you could run around much longer and pop people in the head if you got there in time, but overall, Close Assault was, I mean, it was kind of lame. Shotguns were barely, barely viable, like I said in World at War, so having a whole default class based around them, it wasn't a great call. Not many people used it. Modern Warfare 2, uh, Riot Control. So you had the Riot Shield, Akimbo PP2000s, Marathon, Hardline, Commando, Blast Shield, and Stun Grenades. This, on paper, is a fun class. But if you were actually trying to level up and get XP in Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't very good. It was basically a class built for trolling. There were plenty of good Riot Shield players back in the day, but you had to really know how to make the Riot Shield work in your favor, and this wasn't it. Now, I appreciate Infinity War putting this class in the game, though. It's always nice when developers encourage a little bit of goofing around, as well as grinding hard. Now we've reached Black Ops 1. Sniper. The Dragonoff, the Makarov, a Frag, a Willy Pete, Ghost, Scout, and Ninja. Now you guys know how I feel about the Black Ops 1 Dragonoff and the Black Ops 1 Willy Pete. So what better way to make a default class? Let's combine them together. The sniper class was pretty much pointless. The Dragonoff was, I mean, it was the worst sniper in COD history. The Makarov was one of the worst pistols in the game. And you had Willy Pete's, which were absolutely pointless. And then you had three perks that were really good in different contexts to all of this. Now, I'm confused as to why Treyarch would put the Dragon off on the default sniper class. Why not the L96 or the PSG or even the freaking WA 2000? Anything but the Dragon off. Modern Warfare 3, Overwatch. Now the MK46 with red dot and grip, the small, a frag, flashbangs, blind eye, blast shield, sit rep, in a support package with a counter UAV recon drone and remote sentry. Woo! The LMGs in Modern Warfare 3 were lackluster. Because of the faster pace and smoother movement, LMGs were pretty tough because of how much they hindered both of those things. And then they were also pretty weak on damage output as well. So, with all that being said, I think we can all sit here and agree that Overwatch was the worst class in Modern Warfare 3. The MK46 was one of the weaker LMGs, and that's saying something. And this class seemed to be more built for objective play and shooting down killstreaks, and it's nice to have a person on your team for that. But when you're trying to level up quickly, it's not the best strategy. You want a class that can fight just as well as it can shoot stuff down. You don't want a class that has to sacrifice your combat potential in exchange for shooting stuff down. Now we arrive at Black Ops 2, the specialist class. The M1216 with a laser sight, the crossbow, a combat axe, a tactical insertion, lightweight, fast hands, dexterity, and extreme conditioning. Now the M1216 is awful, and I know there are some people who liked it and get mad at me when I talk crap about it, but it was crap and so was this class. I mean, 
this gun and a crossbow. <laughs> I mean, whose idea was it? When you're using default classes, you want it to be the best way to quickly level up and get your hands on the stuff that you want in custom classes. The last thing you want is a class like this that will get you a handful of kills every game and forces you to be really good at the game right away in order to use it effectively. Now, I don't doubt there were people who can make work with this class. It's a trolling class if you ask me, but does it really belong as one of your default options? Call of Duty Ghosts. Marksman. The MR28 with muzzle brake, armor piercing rounds. The PDW with a silencer, an IED, a motion sensor, and COG amplify focus in extra tactical. All right, Ghost was a weird game with a weapon balance because everything was viable, but not everything was all that good. The MR28 was one of those guns that didn't really stand out to most people because it wasn't as good as a sniper, but it wasn't a bad gun either. It was a total run of the mill marksman rifle and basing a class around it, it was okay. That being said, it was the weakest of the defaults because of how awkward that gun handled and how many better choices there were. I mean, there were default classes in Ghost with the M27 and the Vector. Come on, why would you choose the MR28? Now we get into the jetpack era. Advanced Warfare, the heavy class. This was an EM-1 with heat sink and tracker, the Stinger M7, Exostim, Overcharged, Peripherals, and Hardline. Now the EM-1 is one of those guns that everybody remembers and everyone thought it was cool at first, but hardly anybody used it online because it wasn't actually good. It was a huge laser, laser cannon. Yeah, laser cannon, but the DPS was actually pretty low despite being one of the most cool. I mean, it was pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But you throw a Stinger launcher and a few perks that favor slower play and you've got a class that really wasn't very fun to use and I understand the word heavy now. It's another one of those classes that seem designed for holding down locations and shooting down killstreaks, but if you're getting your feet wet in AW, that's not the best way to do it if you ask me. Black Ops 3, Overwatch, the 48 Dredge with Recon, Quick Draw, and Rapid Fire, the Elkar 9, a Simtex, a Trophy System, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Tac Mask. Once again, LMG classes. It wasn't very good. The 48 Dredge was a super underrated gun, if you ask me, but this class did not do it justice. The recon sight and the rapid fire made it super awkward to use consistently, and the lack of fast hands also made it super sluggish. The 48 Dredge is one of those guns. It has to be kitted out a specific way in order for it to be good, and if you don't kit it that way, well, guess what? It sucks, and this is what we've got. Infinite Warfare, the Duelist class. The Kindle 44 Kimbo with auto sear, rifled barrel, and extended max. Overclock, scavenger, and gung ho. Now, this is one I can actually respect the developers for including. An in Kimbo pistol default class. I think that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Unfortunately, it was a Kimbo version of the worst pistol in the game. The pistols in Infinite Warfare weren't bad, but they were weak, especially in the context of jetpacks and constant wall running and special abilities. It was cool to run around with jetpacks and double pistols like Django Fett, but for leveling up, the class was doo-doo. Call of Duty World War II. The Expeditionary Division. Woo! COD World War II's early game progression was different. Rather than choosing for preset classes, you chose from one of the divisions, then you had an instant access to create a class menu with your options limited, obviously. So really, it was just a decision of what division was best for leveling up quickly, and it was not the Expeditionary Division. This was a shotgun-focused class, and if you wanted to level up quickly, you just weren't going to get much XP from it. In the early game, you want a class that will get a lot of work done on any map and be super versatile, but the problem with Expeditionary was, it was super niche. It only shined on certain maps. It's not the best for when you're just getting started in the game. Black Ops 4, the Hunter class. The Mozu with high caliber and long barrel. The Mog 12 with a long barrel and barrel choke. Stim shot, combat axe, and tracker. Now this is another one of those goofy classes that I can respect the devs for putting in there, but it doesn't make it good. Now the Hunter class gave you a pistol and a dinky shotgun with only one perk, Tracker. The Mozu and the Mog were both guns that pretty much needed their operator mods to be good, and neither one of them had them with this class. Both of them were hit marker machines in core modes, which made you just think of what could have been. In hardcore, I could see the appeal of this class, but in core, it was the worst default class in the game. And finally, we've reached Modern Warfare 2019 with the Sniper class. The AX-50, the Model 680, a Claymore, a Stun Grenade, Scavenger, Overkill, and Spotter. As you probably know, sniping in Modern Warfare's multiplayer requires the guns to be kitted out a very specific way in order to be viable. Unfortunately, that's not how the AX-50 needs to be kitted. It, I mean, this class is super slow, and your secondary is the Model 680, arguably the worst shotgun in the game right now. Then for your perks, you had Scavenger. I mean, why would you have Scavenger? How often are you really running out of ammo on a sniper class? in multiplayer. Why not just run the ammo crate and use that perk for something else? Maybe they didn't think that deep in? I don't know. Oh well, I guess, is what I'll say. There you have it. 
That's the worst default class in every single Call of Duty. You let me know where I got it right. Let me know where I got it wrong. I'll see you guys soon.